What's up guys? How's it going? Today, I'm borrowing the vlog. Yep. We're gonna go to the tide pools. The waves are not the best today. It's a bit windy out, but we're gonna be testing out this new mask made by Van Gogh. Now, what I really think is interesting about this is you can breathe through your mouth while you're snorkeling, and it also has a GoPro attachment, so we may be able to get some pretty interesting first person shots. Okay. I feel like an astronaut when I put this on. It's so cool. It's it's awesome. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's just put this on. Check it out. It is so cool. Like, like cool. Really cool. I've never seen I've never seen somebody else wearing one of these types of masks. So I'm the first that I've ever seen. Later on, I'll let you guys know what I think. Later on, we may go surfing. The waves are a little bit better, but yeah, let's get going. And here we are at the tide pools. Time to test out this new mask. All right, so one, the first thing I noticed once I got into the water is it was pretty nice being able to breathe through your mouth and your nose, kind of just like freely. Normally when you use a snorkel, you are kind of restricted to just using your mouth, so that was kind of interesting. But was what was really weird is because you have so much air in this in this mask in front of your face is your head would kind of float to the surface super quickly. So it was, it was a little bit of a weird, strange feeling, but that was didn't bother me too much. It was pretty fun testing out. You do have a pretty good view because it's like the it's I don't know, it's just like you can kind of see a good amount to the left and to the right. And then right here, my sister tried it out. She said the one thing that she noticed is because, well, maybe her head's a little bit smaller, that it was, there were some times it wouldn't seal completely, so a little bit of water would get into it. But it's, I guess it would be, it's hard to make a mask that fits, that fits everyone perfectly. But besides that, it worked pretty good. It is kind of nice having a GoPro just right on your head mount because then you don't really have to worry about having a separate GoPro. Oh yeah, this was pretty funny. There was just like this random guy who found a puffer fish in one of these little pools and then he like was just walking around with it and he, he just asked me if I wanted to film it and I was like sure that's awesome and then he placed it in my hand and oh well, it's kind of scary having a puffer fish in your hand jumped into the water and then just swam away. It's like as soon as they hit the water they just un they, they become non puffed up and then go away. So the route of the day, we went for an evening surf. This is actually a few days old, this footage, but the, there's been a bit of a swell, so there's been quite a bit of decent waves, so we've just been actually just like surfing a ton. Just like surf, eat, sleep, surf, 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 just surfing a bunch. That's my sister right in front over there. She got a wave as well. There has been like this, like a bit of a swell, so there's these good waves that come right off these rocks, like this nice right, and it's like, the white water will sometimes get in front of you, but then it's pretty easy to get ahead of it. So that's been pretty nice. And there's almost like a little channel, so you can get out fairly quickly. It's nice when there's like, you just like can get like tons of waves. Some, so, some days you'll like be out there for maybe like two hours and you only get like a couple of waves. And then other days you can be out there for like an hour and get like 20 waves. The rocks are right there as you can see. Gotta watch out for those. I've actually heard of a few people who have like ran their boards into the rocks as well as just like, like you gotta just gotta watch out. A little dangerous. Nice little cutbacks. Little cutback. It's kind of working on coming all the way around the cutback and then doing a bit of a rebound, not cutting the cutback too short. Sprayed my friend right there. <laughs> Pretty funny. And we ended up surfing like all the way until like sunset. So as you can see, it has started to get pretty dark. One thing is a lot of people go in, like they, they're done surfing like right before the sun sets. But I find that my most favorite part of the session is like maybe like 10, 20 minutes after the sun sets and once it starts to get dark because you can end up, you'll end up getting just like tons of waves where you're not really fighting fighting anyone. At least that's what I find. Just like it loads of waves. As you can see, it's pretty dark out now. Almost time to go in. Lots of waves, good surf. Definitely a good day. I gotta say it was a good day. 